Following the win at the Clash of the Champions, the hardliners, Dick Murdoch and Dick Slater, all right, they challenged you and Larry for the world tag team titles on September 8th, 1991. That sounds like uh, getting in the ring with two guys that are going to throw fists, huh? Yep, and you know what? Uh, it, for me, it was special because Dick Slater was my idol when I was a kid. Mm, that's right. He was my inspiration. He was the one that made me want to be a wrestler. And just to be there and be in the ring with him, I had been in other matches against him and Buzz Sawyer. We had had a program, you know, earlier during the Crockett days, uh, 85. You know, I worked the program with those guys, but uh, so I'd been in the ring with Dick before and had some single matches with him. But now Dick Murdoch, who was, you know, big star, you know, prior to that out in Texas and for Bill Watts in different places. And those guys were a great team, great, great psychologists, great performers, you know, plus the fact that there was always that other elephant in the room that Dick Slater may just decide if he don't like something just to. <laughs> Hit you with a quick jab and knock you out till next week. Speaking of, uh, of fun stories or stories in general, any fun stories that you have of Murdoch and Slater while we're here? Or? Well, anybody ever mo you know made a road trip with Dick Murdoch? You know, it was case of beer. You know, he didn't care if you iced it down or not. It didn't have to be even be cold. You know, and and he you would always put Dicky either in the back bartending. Or in the passenger seat, you would have never asked him to drive because he couldn't perform. And his perform, his performing was storytelling, and, you know, and he was... Is that what he know, went by, Dickie? That's what you guys that's called what, him? Yeah, yeah okay. we call him Dickie. A lot, his, his, his friends did. Uh, I would suggest a lot of the young guys probably should have called him Mr. Murdoch. Mr. Murdoch. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but he was as good as, as, you know, it goes all the way back to him and Dusty, you know. He was as good as he wanted to be that night. He was as serious as he wanted to be that night. If he showed up in a goofy mood and it was a spot show, then he he had a whole routine of shtick that was his entertainment match. Uh, and he had his money-drawing match. So he was just an accomplished guy. Hell, at that point in time, Dick had probably been in the business when we were working with him probably 20, mm. 20 years at that time. I think he probably started in the late 70s. That yeah, he was right, wrestling Paul? in the 70s, yeah. yeah. So, he, I mean, he was a sure enough veteran. 